CT scan, also known as computer tomography scan, is a medical imaging procedure that utilizes X-rays and computer processing to generate detailed cross-sectional images of the body. A 3D reconstructed CT scan refers to the three-dimensional reconstruction of computer tomography or CT scan images. This individual image slices can then be processed and reconstructed to create a three-dimensional representation of the scanned area. In this video, you can observe images from different angles of the head in a 3D reconstructed CT scan. The frontal bone, located at the front and upper part of the cranium, is a significant component of the human skull. It consists of several distinct parts. The squamous part is the largest and most anterior portion of the frontal bone. It forms the forehead and the anterior part of the roof of the orbit. Glabell lies a smooth, slightly depressed area situated between the eyebrows and above the nose. The glabella plays a role in facial expressions, particularly those related to frowning or expressing concentration. Orbital part. This part of the frontal bone forms the superior part of the orbits and contributes to the roof and medial wall of each eye socket. Nasal bones are two small rectangular shaped bones located in the upper middle part of the face. They are paired bones that form the bridge of the nose. The zygomatic bones are located at both sides of the face and consist of two parts. Temporal process of the zygomatic bone, a thicker and more robust projection that extends backward from the zygomatic bone. It forms the anterior and inferior part of the zygomatic arch. Frontal process of the zygomatic bone is a part of the zygomatic bone, commonly known as the cheekbone. The frontal process extends superiorly and medially from the zygomatic bone, forming a bony projection towards the frontal bone. The maxilla bone, the largest bone of the face, is a paired bone located in the upper jaw. It contributes to the structure of the face, particularly the central region. The maxillary bone consists of several parts, including the body, frontal process, zygomatic process, palatine process, alveolar process, and sinus. The body of the maxilla forms the majority of the bone and contains the sockets for the upper teeth. The frontal process extends upward and contributes to the medial wall of the orbit and the lateral nasal wall. The zygomatic process projects laterally and articulates with the zygomatic bone, forming the prominence of the cheekbone. And the palatine process forms the anterior part of the hard palate, contributing to the roof of the mouth. The nasal spine is a bony projection located at the midline of the maxilla. It provides structural support and stability to the nasal region helping to anchor the nasal bones and maintain the shape and alignment of the nasal pyramid. The infraorbital foramen is a small opening or hole in the maxilla. It is typically oval-shaped and is situated on a slightly raised area known as the infraorbital crest or ridge. The infraorbital foramen plays a vital role in providing innervation and blood supply to the lower eyelid, cheek, upper lip, and surrounding facial structures. The parietal bones are a pair of flat, curved bones located on the side and top of the skull. They form the majority of the superior and lateral walls of the cranium. They are connected at the midline of the skull by the sagittal suture. They extend from the frontal bone anteriorly to the occipital bone posteriorly. The parietal bones play a crucial role in protecting the brain, forming the cranial vault and contributing to the overall structure, strength and shape of the skull. They also provide attachment points for muscles involved in movement and chewing. The temporal bone is a paired bone located on the lateral sides and base of the skull. It is one of the most complex bones in the human body due to its numerous anatomical features. Position inferior to the parietal bones and anterior to the occipital bone. Each temporal bone consists of several parts, including the squamous part, petrous part, mastoid part, 
and tympanic part. In the 3D reconstruct the CT scan image, you can observe the squamous, mastoid and tympanic parts. The squamous part is a flat, thin section that forms the lateral surface of the skull. The mastoid part is located posterior to the petrous part and contains air-filled spaces called mastoid cells. It has a bumpy texture due to its mastoid process, which serves as an attachment site for muscles. The tympanic part is a small section that contributes to the formation of the external acoustic meatus, or ear canal. Anterior to the temporal bone is a sphenoid bone, a complex cranial bone situated at the base of the skull in the central region, known as the middle cranial fossa. It is often described as butterfly shaped due to its distinct shape. The sphenoid bone consists of a body, paired greater wings, paired lesser wings, pterygoid processes, and a central depression known as the cella torsica that contains the pituitary gland. In this section, you can just observe the left greater wing of the sphenoid bone. Now let's shift our attention to the back of the head, where the occipital bone can be seen. The occipital bone is a single bone located at the back and lower part of the skull, forming the posterior aspect of the cranium. It's a large, flat bone with several important anatomical features. Roughly trapezoidal in shape, it consists of a squamous part and a basilar part. The occipital bone plays a vital role in protecting the posterior part of the brain, supporting the skull, and providing attachment site for muscles involved in movement and stabilization of the head and neck. The occipital bone attaches to the parietal bones at the lambdoid suture, which can be observed on both sides of the skull. There is a specific anatomical point on the lateral side of the skull, called the asterion, which is visible in this image. It is located at the intersection of three sutures, the lambdoid suture, the occipitomastoid suture, and the parietomastoid suture. The asterion is formed by the meeting point of the lambdoid suture, which separates the occipital bone from the parietal bones, and the occipitomastoid and parietomastoid sutures which separate the occipital and temporal bones from the parietal bone, respectively. The asterion is positioned just above the mastoid process, a prominent bony projection on the temporal bone behind the ear. Lastly, let's see the mandible bone. The mandible bone, commonly known as the jawbone or lower jaw, is the largest and strongest facial bone in the human skull. It is situated in the lower part of the skull below the maxilla and is the only movable bone of the skull. The mandible bone consists of a body and two ascending branches or rami. The rami located on each side of the body extend vertically and meet at the temporomandibular joint, where you can also observe the mandibular condyle. The mandibular condyle located at the posterior aspect of each mandibular ramus. It plays an important role in the temporomandibular joint, or TMJ, and facilitates jaw movement and stability.